Um, this first one is from an attendee named Fred Beery. It says, the market has been up for years and I have gained more than I expected. In setting up a donor advisor fund for charitable giving over the next, say, 10 years, what allocation would you suggest between U.S. equities, bonds, dare I ask international, <laughs> to maximize the returns for the charities I've given to? Well, first of all, if you're going to have a balanced program, uh, which is what you laid out there, uh, you're not going to maximize your return. The best way to maximize your return is to, in the long run, maybe not from here, is to buy the S&P 500 and leverage it. Uh, and you don't want to do that. But the prudent thing, so the, the real question is not to get maximum returns, but what is the best way to get prudent returns? And I, you know, I, I would stick with the balanced index fund formula of 60% uh, stocks and 40% bonds. And maybe for a program like this, 65%. But you really can't make an argument over 65 or 60 because nobody knows and God knows Bogle doesn't know. Uh, so uh, should international non-US be in that 60%? I don't think you need it and I don't think the rest of the world will do as well as the US. But I'm wrong so often in my new book I spend more time talking about the things I did wrong than the things I did right. So it's a matter of judgment. And uh, I'd say maybe to, to honor the principle uh, let's call it Taylor's principle, the free fund portfolio, you might have 10% to 20% of the stock position, no more than that, in non-U.S. stocks. 